Hey y'all, it's Lidgers, ow, 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 and I'm back with another video. Alright you guys, before we get into the rest of this video, I wanted to give a big shout out to Fashion Nova for sponsoring this YouTube video. You guys may have seen on TikTok my hauls of them, the Fashion with Jurors. I just started a new series and I wanted to give you guys another little sneak peek on YouTube, show you guys all of my favorites honestly from this order because this entire order that I placed with them, I'm like obsessed and I'm definitely going to be a returning Fashion Nova person. So I wanted to give you guys all the links and just let you know everything that I got if you're the same size as me. I'm an extra small. I am 4'11". Fashion Nova has a selection of sizes. Literally, they have so many different sizes, so many different fits for people. And honestly, just anything that you're looking for, you can go and look on Fashion Nova. So let's go ahead and get into this haul and make sure you check down the description below because everything will be linked there. Starting off strong, this is such a cute fit together for the summer. I love this tank top. I feel like it's so flattering on the chichi mangas like these are so cute i actually have this top in black as well and i wear it all the time with sweatpants or with jeans so i had to get it in white and it's so cute i got an extra small i definitely could use a small so that i don't have a lot of like under boob you know but it is still super cute and then these shorts when i saw these on the website i was like i have to have these like literally i am obsessed because i feel like you can always buy like a basic pair of shorts but you can't ever really find any like different pair of shorts and I just feel like these are different. These are cool. They're fun. They have the crosses. The crosses are very in right now. Here is what the booty looks like. I got my little booty cheeks out. They're super cute. So flattering. These jeans are so cute. I have already worn these a few times and like I said with those shorts, it's just different. The pockets are very different. I don't have a pair of jeans like this at all. And the way these fit me are so freaking cute. I got these in a size zero. Love the way that they fit on me. Here's what the booty looks like. Next up are these work pants. I think these are so cute. I'm getting very in touch with like my work energy right now boss vibe so i was like i need some of these pants because i've been going to like a lot of events and stuff so i need something that's like still you know stylish but like still giving work or whatever um i'm definitely gonna get these altered i am for loving short girl in these pants literally like spending my money on these and getting them altered i don't even care because they're so cute t extra small like they fit me everywhere right here very cute they take me on vacation right now i feel like this is so freaking cute look at this Look at the detailing right here, this gold. The way this top fits me is perfect. I will be wearing this top with jeans. It's really comfortable, this material. I love it. Now this set I literally have been living in. It is very comfortable. It is so freaking cute. I'm actually going to be wearing this today. But I got this in a size extra small. You know, Fashion Nova does have loungewear. Like, come on. Like I said, they have everything there. They have vacay mode. They have loungewear. They have bathing suits. So I'm actually going to show you guys some bathing suits because I know you can be a little bit skeptical of ordering online just in general and you don't really know how it's gonna fit so I'm gonna show you guys some bathing suits that I was a little iffy about but they ended up being super cute. Here is one of the bathing suits. This is so cute. I need to be on a beach in this one because I'm obsessed. Here is what the back looks like. Please leave me alone. I'm a little bit bloated right now. What do we think? Can you see me on a beach? Guys here is the last bathing suit and I literally feel so cute in this. I love the whole flower thing. You guys know I'm so into that and the top fits me. I got a size extra small. Here is what the bottoms look like it for this Fashion Nova haul. If you liked anything in here, it's all going to be linked down in the description below. And I'm very impressed. I'm definitely going to be shopping Fashion Nova again. And yeah, just a sneak peek into my summer closet. Now let's go ahead and get straight into the rest of the video. What's good, shotties? What's up? That is sort of my new thing. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, you guys, I was just thinking I was getting ready. It's Monday and I was getting ready to like cover my laundry, do all this shit that I got to do on a Monday of like not really being home throughout last week because I was in LA. I know, bummer. I didn't film. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, but it was really just like a fast two day trip. Um, for work and for flutter so i will definitely talk to you guys all about that this video because there was a lot that happened um but it's also time for me to kind of like reset and i figured why not just fuck it why not just freak it and just like film regardless what i look like what i feel like what's going on throughout the day just kind of literally just do a day in the life like actually of what I'm doing. If I'm laying down in bed, I'm going to show you guys I am laying down in bed. Um, and perfect example of like on days like this, I feel like I don't end up getting dressed until like 2 p.m. 
so I'm just gonna show you guys what it is like I haven't even brushed my teeth I literally just hopped out of bed I woke up really really late today which I don't really know why I must just have been honestly very exhausted I used to wake up a lot at this time and like get out of bed by like 11 o'clock but it's not been happening to me and I've been waking up around like 9 30 or so and just depends on if I get out of bed or not depending on what the day looks like but we open up the blinds I already made my bed I do make my bed every single morning like that is one thing that I do I feel like I used to not do that when I lived at home so it's been really good doing that um I don't even want to show you guys what's going on in our laundry room because it's not it okay it's like it's really really bad but um I am gonna go ahead and do my laundry hold on let me see if I can get you guys to stay right here since I'm gonna be doing laundry all day and I have more than enough laundry to do I'm gonna go ahead and separate it and show you guys how I separate it because I feel like this is just a basic way probably everybody separates it I know a lot of people honestly just like throw their shit in but for me I separate it by colors by like jeans whatever it is so like if it's by white also too if it's like bundled up I'll try and like get it to not be bundled up white socks white um i do wash my flutter set with all my whites just because it's cream and last thing i want is it to lose its color so if you do have flutter make sure you wash it with your whites um so yeah i'm just gonna wash all these and then sweatshirts i also will put off to the side and like pajamas and chonies kind of like stick together random top white white but yeah, so I'm basically trying to get all my laundry separated and stuff so that I don't have to do it throughout the day so that it's already separated and I just throw it in, throw it out, fold, whatever. Um, so I haven't ate breakfast yet, so as soon as I'm done with this, then I will go ahead and make myself breakfast after I put a load in. I did a load last night as well. Um, Anthony ended up flipping it over for me, so that was really nice of him because I did not want to get up and flip it over. So hopefully he actually started it and my clothes don't smell like mildew because wouldn't that be terrible? pants go separate too so i did my la laundry last night basically um because i had it all in a bag and surprisingly i didn't have a lot of la laundry because we were only there for two days so i guess i can tell you guys a little bit about how that went it went really well it was a really good trip for flutter um and so i actually went out there to go to the fashion district to meet with my manufacturer so that we can talk about some new collections and all of that and also too to pick up our new inventory for spring which is this upcoming april is when we'll be dropping it um damn we're already in april actually now that i think about it so yeah so it'll be this month that we have a collection dropping and then we have our like next four or five drops coming up so that's really exciting i'm really really excited for that it feels so good to kind of know where we're going to be going with what we're doing and what we're going to be dropping um and then we get home to Arizona and me and my mom just trusted you know everything was fine we saw the right colors and all of that we get home it ended up being the wrong styles like if I ordered something in this color it was in like the opposite style that it was supposed to be in because we have a, a few different other colorways which is always scary when you're ordering a few different other colorways because something like that could happen and it did happen to us um so that was shitty so I had basically all the wrong inventory when I literally was I went to LA Monday was coming back Wednesday and was shooting Friday and gonna drop this upcoming Friday but now I have to it delays everything and now I have to shoot this upcoming Friday and possibly drop the next Friday as long as we have the count of all the inventory nothing should stop us from dropping like boom 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 so I just was kind of sad because you know I had planned to drop the first week of April um, to really start off that spring but maybe god was telling me something that you know hey slow down this maybe isn't what you're supposed to be doing yet so it is what it is it is what it is my manufacturer fixed it for me so that was really good we got it all covered and now that inventory should be coming in hopefully very very soon this upcoming week and also some new samples that we have for like newer collections um so that is really exciting and i just pray it all like is correct um i also went out there for the white fox event so i got to see their new era 8 collection that was really cool to see i enjoyed seeing that um and going i saw des i saw jada marie 
Um, so it was cool just like catching up, seeing them. And other than that, that's pretty much all you do at those events. You just go and you know, you get your clothes. You want to try and talk to people who you want to connect with. I actually did see the overnight blowout queen, y'all. And I was so freaking excited. If you guys know, it's like the hair tool that I use a little overnight, like crawlers, rollers or whatever. By far my favorite ever roller that I've ever, ever done in my hair. It works good. You can sleep easy on it. Um, but I ended up meeting her. So that was super cool. And honestly, you guys, like she was walking out when I was going to the bathroom and I didn't know if I was going to say hi or not, but I was like, like, I need to say hi. Like I need to go and introduce myself. Why would I not? Like, this is what I come here for. I need to do this. Like Jersey, put on your big girl chonies and go say hi. So I walked up to her and I'm like, girl, like you are everything. I love your product. Like you're so amazing. You're such a good businesswoman, all of this stuff. And it was really, it was really cool to meet her. She was, she was cool. And I was happy that. I did it it was like an accomplishment of me because I feel like sometimes I can get very off guard with those type of things and trying to say hi to people you guys honestly right now I was just thinking and like about to say I'm like burning right now like it's so uncomfortable down here I either have a UTI or I'm just not drinking enough water I'm very dehydrated so it's like really hurting right now so that might cap my day for a little bit because it's like it's really uncomfortable so that's not good I was just thinking because I'm like in pain as I'm speaking to you guys. And that's just girl issues, bro. I literally, you guys, my girl issues are all over the place. Like, when do I not have issues? It's really frustrating because I'm so sensitive. <laughs> I was supposed to meet with the balloon team. I was supposed to go to the balloon headquarters because you guys know I've been working them for, I've been working with them for a while now and I'm so sad that I didn't get to make it. Um, both of our timing schedules just did not work out. So it was really, really shitty. Because, like I said, I was only there for a little bit of amount of time. So, there was only so much I could do in two days. Okay, everything is separated now. So, let me show you guys how I'm separating. Okay, so it looks like we have about one, two, three, four, five loads to do. So, we have five loads to do. So, we need to go ahead and go pop these in. So, let's do it. Because, goddamn. That's a lot. And then I need to eat and have some cranberry juice because I'm hurting. Like, really, really bad. Step into my office. I'm going to go ahead and set you guys right here. Oh my gosh, do we not remember when we were all in here trying to figure out, like, from the moving video on Jers Gone's Crazy when we were all in here trying to figure out the washer and dryer? Okay, yes, these are all done, so that's good. BRB. Okay, so I do typically start off with the easiest load, which is normally chonies and jammies because those are very easy for me to put away so I won't just end up throwing them and stacking them somewhere. Bathing suit in one second. Okay, so now I come up here. I do have sepsil and I do have to go like this every single time. And I have my little pumps right here. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So three detergent, three softener. That's just how I normally do it. And we are running low on like the little detergent ball thingies or the softeners so I'm not gonna put any in and since this is chonies I'm gonna put it on warm actually not hot warm warm there we go and now we start and now we wait let's go make some breakfast I'm hungry and I need cranberry juice all right I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and get this living room together because it looks wild and I cannot stand when my couch looks like floppy and that's what it's giving right now so I'm gonna go ahead and fold this blanket up. Just set that right there for now. Come back to you, Anthony's stuff. This man is known for living, leaving stuff all over the couch. It's here. It's normally just this side that always looks like pretty floppy and like eh. So I don't know why. I think it's because the slouch or this one right here is just like a little bit different. See, so yeah, I have to like really push it to look good and then I do normally keep this blanket over just because I think it's really cute I'm, I'm kind of ready to switch this blanket out you guys this is the one I get made from um Renee she's so good she's an AZ I love these blankets I had a Valentine's Day one as well I think they're a cute throw but I just feel like I'm I want a new one like 
I do get addicted to them. It's a bad thing. Okay, and then so I'm going to be using that. It's Anthony's. This is going to be it's my trash. That was our business cards. I'm going to play the basketball way. Honestly, you guys, just like the little thing of having this area cleaned up, like especially our couch, it always feels really good to me have it, having it like put together because when it's the other way, it just does not make me happy. And then the candle. I'm gonna put it a little bit farther over here because this scares me. I don't know why though, it's never pitched on fire, which is really weird. You think it would. Or you think it would get black, but Look at you guys, I got a new water hose for my garden because I needed a new one, so we gotta set this up today. Okay, see, just this right here already gives me peace and gives me happiness because it just looks so much better. So now let's make some breakfast because I really need some cranberry juice. Actually, I need to go see if I have azo, you guys, because I'm hurting so bad right now. Like, and I woke up yesterday, because yesterday was Easter, so happy Easter, you guys, but Sunday I woke up and I was in so much pain. Like, it was really, really bad. I had terrible cramps. One, I had really terrible cramps. Two, I was like on the toilet and I don't know what I was on the toilet for because to me it just didn't make no sense. All right, you guys, I am in very much pain right now. I honestly just sat on the toilet probably for like three minutes, just like feeling like I need to go pee, but I'm not going pee. I just took Azo. I need to actually go grab that easel again because I feel like I can't remember. Um, and then I'm gonna have some cranberry juice. It tastes so bad, but you gotta drink it, you know? Here we go, I'm gonna have a bagel. I'm gonna have a bagel and like with peanut butter rather than cream cheese. Cranberry juice. I'm also gonna use this because this is the entire thing of cranberry juice I need to drink. I'm gonna do a little bit of water. That's a lot right there. It'll have to do. Literally hate the taste of cranberry juice, bro. Mm, just a little tiny bit crispier. Just like a little bit. Just like a little bit. Okay, now we've popped it up. Right here. I'm gonna put some butter. Hey! You gotta put butter on it when you do peanut butter. Just trust. Butter all done. Now we go over to the peanut butter. Mmm. You guys see that? It's just so buttery, so delish. Mm, and then it's like all melted. All right, you guys, literally, and just like that, my day can be ruined because I'm in so much fucking pain. I'm in so much pain right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I even feel like nauseous and this is terrible. Normally I would eat on like my TV stand tray, but this is what I'm doing. And I have the heating pad on. I don't know. I just texted my mom to see what she thinks I should do because I might need to go to the doctor. Like, ASAP because I know once I start taking Azo, then my pee, like, doesn't tell them exactly what I have. So, I don't know. I'm just in a lot of pain. But I'm going to go ahead and eat my breakfast and, yeah. Alright, you guys. I just took out a load of laundry and put a new load in. So, I have all this laundry to fold right here. So, I'm going to try and fold that. Um, I'm going to call my mom, though, right now because I'm still in pain. So I'm thinking of taking ibuprofen and Benadryl and probably taking a shower right now, honestly, too. Um, but I don't have the medicine that, like, my doctor normally gives me for this. So I'm going to see if I need to go to to the doctor or just, yeah. Hi. Hey, baby, hold on. What is going on? Hey, sorry, I was texting Melissa and, like, every time I texted, it was erasing it. Oh, no. I was just going to call you. Hi, B. Not good. I'm over here hurting. Hmm? I said I'm over here hurting. Oh, I'm so mad that we lost, that we didn't keep that appointment. I know, but... Like, I feel like you need to go in with CBS because you can't take Azo. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember how Renee, that one time, she was like, you can't take Azo and then us test your feet. I know. So, well, I only took one Azo right now. Like, or not right oh. now. I took it earlier. Like, when it started hurting. But that's why I didn't take any more, but... I was thinking of taking ibuprofen and Benadryl right now, but... Well, the Benadryl's not going to help you. Just the heating pad. And it was, like, but just pouring. It looks so pretty, though. Like, it's yeah. like... I was about to go outside and water my plants, too, but I don't really need to. Oh, you don't need to. Our trees, like, it's so funny, because whenever it's, like, hella gloomy, our trees look, like, like bright 
green. Like they don't look that dark green. They're like hella light. All right, you guys, I just got done vacuuming the house. I also took a shower because I really needed to. I'm still feeling like major shit. As you guys saw, it literally rained. I was gonna go and check out my garden. I'll show you guys definitely by the end of this video because go, I'll go check on it to make sure everything's good. Popped another load of laundry in. Anthony should be on his way home very, very soon. So I asked him if he could bring me some lunch. So we'll see what he said. He probably ate, so I don't know if he's gonna bring me some. But even if he ate, I'm sure he's going to. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from my doctor. So I'm just have very loose clothes on and gonna try and lay with my heating pad and relax and looks like I need to flip my clothes over. I don't know how a load is already done, but it is. So, so I put my white clothes in, but what's really throwing me off is that I don't feel good. So last thing I wanna do is fold clothes right now. I really wanna lay down with a heating pad and take a nap. So that is my plan also too, because we do have plans at 5.30 and I really, really want to make those plans. Um, so that's why I'm trying to rest as much as I can. Okay, now that that's gonna shut that door. Yeah, so I still have that little laundry to fold. Anthony's gonna be annoyed when he gets home and sees it, but I don't care because I don't feel good. I'm gonna take my probiotic because I forgot to take this. And I think I'm gonna hold off on Azo right now until my doctor responds to me. I'm gonna text my mom and make sure she thinks that's what I should do. But definitely also gonna take some ibuprofen. Okay, so I don't know, are you hungry? Like a sandwich or something? Still nothing back from my doctor, so I'm gonna ask my mom if I should take A's or not. Hi, I'm not available. For now, I'm gonna stick with water, cranberry juice, Tylenol. Hey. Hey. Um, could, should I take Azo? Renee hasn't texted me back or or no. I took ibuprofen, so. Mm, yeah, I go ahead and take it. It's just you're not going to be able to go to the doctor until you haven't taken it for a couple of days. But you already took it this morning, so you might as well take it the three times today to take that pain away. And then we'll just have to schedule based on that, you know? Okay. 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 Love you. Love you. Okay. Bye. Okay, well, I just took Azo, so I'm gonna try and take a nap now, and I'll let you guys know. I literally feel like crap. I feel like every time we talk now, I just feel like crap, so. All right, you guys, I still have not taken a nap yet, but I did make myself some lunch, and... I did. Still a pretty boneheaded move. Wow, you usually talk to your patients that way? He talks to everyone like that. Even his little brother. Man, what are you doing? Yeah. Something's going on in my show, and Anthony's home, but. Excuse me, I'm here now. Say hello. What's up, y'all? Alright, you guys, I Welcome woke up. Welcome back to another Jurors Gone Crazy video. Mm -hmm. This isn't for Jurors Gone Crazy, bud. Um, I woke up from a nap, and then I got dressed, and then Anthony played the game while I was taking a nap. Sorry, the gum is so good in the beginning, huh? It's like a that. flavor burst. I love it. But then we went to Fry's because we we're going to Larry and Sachi's house. All right, you guys, good morning. It is the next day. I literally look freaking ridiculous because I don't want to do my hair because, what the heck? Because I'm doing it tomorrow or doing it tonight because we're going to dinner for Anthony's twins' birthday. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my mom got me a cute little Easter basket because I made her one this year as well. She got me this. She got me some gardening stuff, so I'm so excited about that. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and go and put this one in. Um, but she also got me a hummingbird feeder and then some gloves and a little tool. So she got me these gloves and what's it called? And they're so freaking cute. So I'm gonna go put them outside while I go check on my garden because I need to and I'm gonna show you guys. All right, you guys, here are what my tulips are looking like. I honestly need to get some more um, dirt today or soil for them, but it looks like my white ones are blooming already a little bit. The pink ones right here are kind of struggling. Um, and then if we go look over here, I was really worried that the root was gonna come out. I feel like these are blooming because they have like the most sun you know so but like do you see that the root isn't like fully in and like right here as well so i need to get some soil today 
so that these can like stay up because that's why they're flopping down and I feel like it's not going to give them like longevity because um, we have purple tulips right here and pink so we need to water those and then I'll show you guys what my regular garden's looking like I'm kind of trying to rush right now because me and my mom are really trying to make it to uh, where what is that what am I saying to freaking can't even think I can't even think I think to chick-fil-a by 10 30 but my garden is looking crazy right now so i've been doing this for about a month now because i got it march 3rd on my birthday or more like march 4th and then i set it up and literally planted everything that day um or like the next day but like it's already looking wild so i have i'll just go ahead and show you guys what it looks like and if you follow me on my instagram definitely go follow me because you'll be able to see more updates on it but i kind of want to tell you guys what it's been like having it for a month because it's been really really fun my mother-in-law anthony's mom actually got me this garden she's very into gardening she has like an entire big thing of a whole bunch of like seasoning things like you know food because that's like she loves cooking but let me show you guys what mine looks like so Right here I have Italian oregano. Well, this is like the entire thing, okay? Like that is outrageous right now. Um, but I have Italian oregano and then right here I have some strawberries and I have a few strawberries like really, really growing right now. Um, if you see, I have this red one right here, my first red strawberry. I have a lot of new growth, like big time. So I'm so anxious to see how these are in a few days and i got all of these like from lowe's literally just went and got them and then planted them in soil and all of that um here is my romaine here's my romaine lettuce it is outrageous honestly like it has not been like this i feel like romaine lettuce grows really really good in arizona and when i tell you guys the crunch that it has when you eat it like i made me and anthony a caesar salad we made a caesar salad and what else oh i had it on like my sandwich one time and the crunch is so different from buying it from the store and like literally i've already cut this off two times and now this is the biggest it has grown so that's crazy i have cilantro because i'm always like oh i need cilantro so like it's so easy just having it in my backyard um but honestly like there is a lot of cilantro right here here are my jalapenos i think it's so cool the way jalapenos grow you guys literally it grows like a flower basically and then if you see in the middle it literally has the jalapeno so i have a really big one right here which is my first ever big jalapeno so that's super cool and then i have one back there i have a lot of like new little ones growing and i feel like i'm probably gonna have like 12 peppers out of that honestly and then right here are um zinnias that are growing these do kind of take the longest they take like 72 72 days to fully grow because so this is zinnias i have a lot of bugs growing right here so that's not good but i have so if you guys have any tips on that to get bugs kind of out so that they don't eat and like i don't know um let me know but yeah so these are all zinnias right here and i think this is a zinnia and that's a zinnia and then these are sunflowers so the sunflowers take 72 days to grow but like it is just crazy like to see it all begin actually the texture on this which is so weird i've never ever experienced this before it has like a weird texture to it almost like scaly it's super cool it's like kind of like fuzzy and it, you can see it's like fuzzy that is how sunflowers grow so that's really cool so i have a lot over there and then so yeah that's like my entire garden i water it i also water it with that i'm actually gonna put a lot of sprinkle i feel like the perfect placement that i have it does get really really hot right here so once it gets really hotter in arizona i'm probably gonna have to move it because i don't want it to get too much sun um and then i'll show you guys right here i also buried my little ladybugs but i also put some zinnias and sunflowers right here and they have some growth growing so that's super cool and then walk over here do 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 but this is definitely a sunflower right here and it's so cool because it's just in a random spot and it's growing so I'm really happy about that and then we do have our lemon trees those got planted like professionally but i just planted these and i'm a little bit worried i don't really know where to put them because i feel like they're not getting a lot of sun like right there it's fully shaded it just depends on certain times of the day so i don't know and these ones are like completely self-watering so i really have to take care of these and water them because if not but yeah i literally got these tulips from target like tulips are definitely popular right now during Easter or when it was Easter. So I'm just trying to take care of them because I really do want like a whole flower garden, but I already planted those. So I kind of have to stick with the whole food process until 
it's different, you know? But I'm gonna go ahead and put this little guy, my little ladybug, I'm gonna put him right here. Just like that, super cute. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and leave these right here until I come back because like I said, y'all, we are in a rush. And then these all got done too. These trees, I'm so excited to see them grow because they're supposed to be super tall, almost like those Hollywood trees. But if you look right here, I also have some flowers. This all has a self-watering system, so really I don't need to water. But these are like the random spots that we put them that we had extra. So it was really cool to see a lot of growth on those because I really didn't think they were gonna have any. But yeah, that's my backyard. Now I need to go because if not, I'm not gonna get Chick-fil-A. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't anything too crazy. Um, but I really wanted to just get a simple video out for you guys and also show you guys my fashion Nova haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am going on a trip in April. I literally just now found out today, very last minute. I wasn't going to go, but we're going to go celebrate um, Sachi, my friend's birthday. So I'm super excited about that. So you guys will be seeing another fashion Nova haul. So stay tuned and I love you guys. Now I need to go and get Chick-fil-A. So bye. Okay, brother.